Good evening, everybody. Welcome back to another exciting episode of Warrens' Let's Plays. Today, guys, I'm bringing you the first of many episodes to come for a brand new mobile game that I happen upon. It's been playing for three weeks. This is Infinite Magic Raid. Uh, specifically, the, this video and the series moving forward is intended for newer players. Please keep that in mind. It's for players that have just now discovered the game or have been in for a couple months or so on and so forth. Today what I'm doing is bringing to you guys a hero review. This is for the newest hero, the limited time Halloween event hero, uh, Little Jack, that was just released. And I'm going to answer the simple question. What do I think of him? Do I like him? And is he pretty strong? And uh, stay tuned because I'm going to answer those questions. If you're uh, new to the channel, thanks so much for stopping in for the first time. To my returning viewers, thank you for your continued support. You know what it is, guys. Like, comment, subscribe. I'm Lawrence, and let's play. So let's jump on in here to the gallery. He is part of the Doom Legion faction. Yeah. There he is. Uh, love his design. What I think of him? Love his design. Would I build this guy? Would I invest in this character? Yes. I think he's pretty strong in certain instances. He's really pretty strong. Some instances not as good. We'll go over that later. So his design, love him riding on the pumpkin with the uh, sad looking face, or I guess maybe that's a mean face. Got to love the witch design with the amulet. He's got candy bombs floating around him. More on that when we go over his skills. I like how his robe kind of mirrors the uh, facial expression of the uh, pumpkin, the wings in the back. Pretty cool. So out the box, uh, Little Jack at level 100, HP 4449. Attack 4167, which is quite high. Defense 3950, speed 988. Let's go over his skills. Candy Bomb, unique. A gift Little Jack gives to enemies. It will be detonated when its duration ends. It can also be detonated by Little Jack's skill in advance. Candy Trap, basic attack. Deals 200% attack damage to a single enemy and inflicts one Candy Bomb for three turns. More on that here shortly. When you level this skill up, two, three, four, five levels, 20% increase each time, 20, 40, 60, 80. It's 280% attack damage to a single enemy. Eh, that's okay. It's not great. Uh, sugar Coat Bomb, active skill, four turn cooldown, deals 420% attack damage to a single enemy and detonates candy bombs. Plus two, or level two, three, and four raises this up by 40%. Uh, level five will reduce the cooldown to three turns, which we definitely want to get this off as, uh, as often as possible. 40, 80, 120. So add 120 to 420. That becomes 540% attack damage to a single enemy and detonates candy bombs. So that is quite a bit of damage. Now here's where it gets really interesting. Trick or treat passive skill. Little Jack inflicts one candy bomb on all enemies for three turns at the beginning of each wave. Every enemy target can only have no more than four candy bombs, which will be automatically detonated when their duration ends. Each candy bomb deals 120% attack damage to the enemy target when it is detonated and has an additional 50% piercing rate. So at level two through five, 10% increase makes the candy bombs 160% more damage. So when you attack with this, 420, uh, 40, uh, 80, 120, so 540. So guaranteed when you attack that single enemy, it's going to have a candy bomb. If you have it maxed out, 160, that's quite a bit of damage. And then finally, my favorite is AOE skill. Trick and, trick and treat. Active skill five turn cooldown, which is quite high. Deals 440% attack damage to all enemies and detonates candy bombs. Level two through four, 20% increase each time, excuse me. So that's 500% attack damage to all enemies. Level five, reduce the cooldown by one. We definitely want so that reduces it to a four turn cooldown so that's great um again if you add the candy bombs 160 plus uh for uh, 20 40 60 so five 500 percent damage then add 160 that's 660 you can see how quickly this guy's damage can snowball and then keep in mind you might have one enemy that had two candy bombs and if those are that skill is maxed out then it's like 320 percent more damage so let's kind of go over him real quick uh, just preview him a little bit. You'll see in the start, they all had the little candy wrapper looking thing. That's the candy bomb. There's the candy bomb attack. This is going to add, or actually, no, that's another candy bomb, I'm sorry. Uh, here's, here's the AOE. Got quite a bit of damage. Um, there's the passive. This is where he's going to put a candy bomb on that person. Um, 
So just kind of making this kind of a rapid fire review. What I would suggest as far as gearing this guy, and I would suggest this pretty much for any attack damage type of which he is, is the slay set. What I love about this game is that it only requires two pieces of gear to get the set bonus. So if you equip four pieces of the slay set when you're able to open the, when you unlock the forge, crit rate 10%, crit damage plus 15. So times that by two if you have four, uh, all four pieces from slay. 20% crit rate, 30% crit damage. Make sure that you are looking for uh, stats that are percentage based that boost crit rate and crit damage and attack and a uh, flat stat for uh, speed because you won't ever get a percentage on speed. But yeah, he's pretty good. Like I said, what I think of him, I like him a lot. I think he's pretty solid. Uh, he doesn't do as well in a battle that has a boss. If you're f actually fighting a boss as a single target doesn't do quite as much damage, but for clearing enemy mobs like throughout the campaign and a lot of other different modes, he's fantastic. Love his design. I think he's really cool. I don't really have nothing left to say, guys. Um, if you pulled this guy, let me know. Let me know what you think of him so far. Be sure to you know, uh, give a big thumbs up if this is content that was helpful to you. Uh, let me know what you think of him if you have him. Also, um, leave comments and, and let me know, like I said, what you're thinking about the game so far if you're playing it. And also subscribe to the channel if you haven't. I don't really have nothing left to say, guys, but be sure to keep it locked here at Lawrence's Let's Plays for additional Infinite Magic Raid content coming your way. I'm Lawrence, this has been Lawrence's Let's Plays, and I am out of here. Take care, everybody, and I will see you in the next video.